Let's get you started in here. I've been watching a lot of your interviews um, on YouTube. That's not actually how I discovered you. I discovered you through your book, Antidote. And I notice people get very offended when you talk about the husband being the head of the wife. Yes. They, like, <laughs> cannot wrap their heads around it. And I think that they maybe misunderstand what you mean by that, that you mean some kind of belligerent, violent, screaming, <laughs> you know, controlling man who's correcting his wife all the time. I don't think that's what you not mean. At I'm all. not trying to put words in your mouth. No, but you're totally right. Like it's that's not, even not in what my you mean mind. at all. Yeah, not at all. It's in, And the whole anger thing, what you talk about real men not being angry and not being emotional, you really... In those interviews, I notice you really walk the walk and talk the talk. There's nobody that I've seen you talk to that, that you get angry at. You're very non-judgmental. So anyway, maybe you can clarify what you, what you mean by that head of the wife. Um, there is statement. a spiritual order to life that was uh, ordained or created by God, and it works. And that order is God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, woman over children, right? Mm -hmm. And because the love comes from above, all the way down to the children. And when you have that kind of perfect love, there's nothing in you that wants to dominate another person's life. You, you, you have no real personal opinion about your wife or anyone. And you just let them be. You correct them when they're wrong. But if they don't you know, follow the instruction, you let them suffer. Because through suffering, they can sometimes people can wake up. But you don't dominate anyone's life. You don't even want to dominate it. If you notice, God doesn't dominate our life. He tried to warn us that we're about to fall off the bridge. But if we don't listen, he just let you fall off the bridge. If you want to live on skid row, he'll let you live on skid row. And, and he and Jesus will just hang out, have some coffee with the, <laughs> with the big screen TV on. And be think, wow, what a mess. <laughs> Maybe one day they'll wake up, right? And so when you are a son or daughter of God or you live in that order, that's how your life is too. You don't have a personal opinion about other people because you can see what's going on with you and it allows you to see what's going on with them. So you cannot judge them. And as far as the, once you get rid of the spirit of anger, see what people don't realize, anger is a spirit. It has a life force. It's an energy that makes a home in you and it controls you. You're not in control of your own life. And so it's an ego thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so it takes life personal. You, when you, you can be offended. But when that spirit is taken out of you, then there's nothing there to offend you at all. It's just perfect love. So when people call me names or they do crazy things, I see where they're coming from, and I realize they can't help it. Mm -hmm. So it's not personal. But I just noticed that people have a real issue with those two words in particular, correct yeah. <laughs> and head of. Yeah. Like what, is, what exactly do you not understand? It's well, not the world have taught, there are two realities in life. One is an illusion, that's of the world. And then the other one is real, and that's inside of us. And the world have taught us, no, that order doesn't work. Men are, are, are the same as women. You can't do this and can't do that. And a lot of people have fallen for that. And that's why they're suffering because they believed into the world. Mm -hmm. And the world is controlled by the prince of darkness. And he is a deceiver. So when you follow that, you end up falling in a ditch with everyone else. Mm. Yeah. 